All right, <clears throat> some people are going, what the hell is this? This isn't a tank. This isn't even Tamiya. No, it's, guys, it's Bandai. This, this is a Gundam. <laughs> but look, hey, to anyone that knows Gundam that's watching this video, bear with me. I'm talking to people that build, uh, you know, uh, mobile model armor kits, mostly. Uh, so we have a MS-05L, Zaku-1 sniper type. Um, I don't know if this was in the... I guess it was in the cartoon. Some... Maybe. Somewhere. Either way, this is a high-grade kit. This is kind of... Aside from some really, really entry-level stuff, this is the entry-level kit. Yes, we're here in the U.S., so it is imported by Bandai, Namco, Bluefin, yada, yada, yada. Um, and, and this is not like building a tank model. Um, where you're required to have all sorts of things and do all sorts of stuff. These are meant to be easy. Here, here's the toolkit. A uh, pair of decent nippers. These are okay. These are the Tamiya extra sharp pointy nippers. There's better ones uh, called... <laughs> okay, guys, um, to the non-Gundam people, just ignore this. To my normal viewers, there's a great brand of nippers. The best brand of nippers, apparently, is called God Hand hand of God comes and cuts your bits out for you. Apparently, you'll feel a gentle embrace by God over your hand while operating those nippers. These are just Tamiya or Tamiya nippers, and uh, they work just fine for me. And these are tweezers, because the stickers on these little guys are micro frickin' scopic and a pain in the ass to apply. <clears throat> that being said, let's get into this guy. We get an unboxing. Look at this. It's the shortest unboxing I will ever do. Now, what we have here, come on, open, are what we in the normal modeling community would refer to as parts trees or sprues. You hear that, Gundam guys? Trees and sprues. Everybody in the known universe calls these things trees and sprues. Um, but in Gundam Bandai world, they are parts runners. And uh, Bandai, uh, Bandai's quality of injection molded parts uh, is is only equaled um, or rivaled by Tamiya. And Bandai's Bandai stuff is great. Even cooler, again for the non Gundam folks, is they mold these damn things in multiple colors. Like they can inject clear parts into, like, normally these are always separate clear parts. Um, and they're just all in the same, the same sprue together. You know what really, really grinds my gears? Is, here. So you got, ah, here we go. You got these, you got this plastic bag, and it just, it just, it just pops right open. No problemo, homeboy. Look at that. Multicolored parts tree again. That's cool as hell. Um, poly caps. Um, can we get poly caps with Tamiya sometimes? Uh, you know, usually for, uh, you know, uh, turret, uh, barrel, you know, elevation. And then they have these bags that refuse... Oh, now you're just making me look like an idiot. These bags are not as easy to open. Normally, not. Oh, come on. Okay. Don't embarrass me in my first Gundam video, you stupid bag. We got a little tubey, tubey thing. I think that's to connect the sniper rifle to the backpack. We got some more bits, more pieces. And this is an old kit. This is from 2006. <laughs> in Tamiya terms, it ain't really all that old. But in Bandai terms, it's pretty old. Because they've been... <clears throat> I mean, they've been making Gundam... Ah, here's... See? Ah! Oh, son of a bitch! Home run! Oh, it's at least a triple. That thing landed at the window. Hold on. Here we go. If I've lost some parts, bear with me. Oh, okay, we're back in the stool. Don't fall. Don't fall. This thing's on wheels. Chairs on wheels and me? Eh, shaky history. Um, there we go. We got some more things. Um, we've got little foil decals, uh, decals, because uh, this is this is a basic, a very basic kit. So we're gonna just keep those safe, right there. There they are. It's on video, so I remember if I lose them. Um, and all these are labeled. That's the C. That's the E. 
Now there's organizer trays. I actually have one upstairs. Um, this is B1. So, you know, you kind of lay these out in alphabetical order, you know, and we'll, 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 we'll get to that. We'll get to that. No, we won't. But we're going to do the unboxing, and then I'm going to be doing a little build. Now, a lot, a lot of the Gundam reviews, they will unbox the kit. They'll show you all the, <sighs> fine, runners. They'll show you all the runners. Um, they'll, they'll, you know, they'll go through uh, the manual. Bandai's manuals are pimp. I mean, nice. I mean, that's not a foil sticker. That's a gel dome sticker or a piece of clear plastic. I call BS on you, Bandai. You didn't give us the clear plastic. I will call. I will call it as I see it. There's more clear plastic. Um, maybe there's. Oh, you know, there is some clear parts. Maybe they. You put a sticker behind the clear part. I don't think it's ever going to look that good, personally. Um, and you know, black and white. Nothing's in English. I mean, literally nothing. Some of the newer kits have a little English. But you don't need it. Uh, the instructions are quite excellent um, as far as that. And then you have finished things. And then you have a guide for painting, should you decide to paint. Um, by the way, not Tamiya paints. So, I mean, you could use Tamiya paints, but really what you're looking for, if you really want to paint these things, is Mr. Hobby or Mr. Color or Mr. Gundam Color. Mr. Something. You know, the Mr. Hobby brand, everyone knows about Mr. Hobby, I'm sure. But Mr. Hobby is like another, to me, a quality paint company out of Japan. Oops, sorry, I bumped the camera. Um, yeah, and uh, they make some very nice things. So generally, building these things, take the outer box, nest the inner box for two into it, and get the instructions oriented so... Um, save our tweezers. We're going to put those over near the decals, because that's what we need them for. And we got our little hoses. We'll keep those to the side. And then I'm just going to, I'm going to sort these out. Here's A1. <clears throat> and we don't have a sanding block. We're not going this crazy. A1, D1. A1. Uh, B, B2. D, D, B, A. Alphabets. B1. Wait, B1? B1, D1, hold on, B1, here, B2, B1 and B2, and then C, polycaps, just polycaps, so we can keep those right there, um, what do we got here, we got A2, we'll keep that there, and then we got E, and D, A, B, C, D, E, and then D, D2, D2. Okay. So we got our stuff. If you have enough space, just, you know, organize them alpha, alphabetically. Alphabet, alphabetically. There we are. This video also brought to you by the coolest drugstore I've ever been to. McKaysville Drug and Gun in northern Georgia, right near the Tennessee border. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Reloads or refills. We got you covered. Yeah. Pistols or Prozac. Dispensing happiness. Okay. I'm going to start building this. And unlike the other guys, they, they unbox, and then they show the built model. I'm going to be in between that. Because some guys that just build the whole thing on video, it's ridiculous. It's just as boring as watching someone build a tank piece by piece silently. I'm going to build a little bit, show you how it goes together, and then build a little more, and then show you how that went together. And then we'll get the money shot, like head, arms, into the legs, into the torso, into the weight, if I can wait. Because often, once the head's done... And the torso is done, I just snap the head on. Even though snapping the, the body parts together, see it happens happens later, and then, ah, oh, it's just, it's so, oh, here we go. See, it's so hard to resist putting them together once you have some finished pieces. All right, well, yeah. Uh, Domo arigato, Mr. Roboto. Uh, we'll be back. I'm going to be watching Mobile Suit Gundam while doing this. All right, uh, uh. What do I, um, I don't have, I gotta come up with something witty for robot videos now. Jeez. Alright, I'll figure that out while we're away. BRB. Alright, hey, we're gonna start with one of, one of, uh, Ian's idiot beginner tips of the day, which obviously I learned from one of the other more experienced Gunpla people on YouTube, is 
the sticker. This says put on a sticker. Here's our stickers. We ever decals. Um, it doesn't. Oddly enough, this one says H. This little pink one, but this little green one has a little squiggly. Here we go. Let's line up the squiggles. See, that's how you figure out which sticker to put on. You, you match up the squiggle with the, I don't even know if you could see it on there. And then for such a tiny sticker, I recommend leaving the part on the tree, sprue, runner, fine. I'll pay my friggin' Gundam tax to the world. Leave the part on the runner. Use your tweezers. I am not going to do this on, no, I'm not going to do this on camera. F that. Not doing it on camera. But we do have the head built. Uh, little things like this antenna, uh, they could fall out really easy. So a little dab of the good old extra thin. This is mostly polystyrene in this kit. Um, and this chin, cheek, chin interface, I put a tiny bit of uh, extra thin there. You don't need the glue, but if you want to handle them and not have parts falling off, like a hand grenade exploding, uh, which is a term they like using, hand grenades, here's the upper chest part. She's done. We got some poly caps in there. So you can see the joints move. This neck is just a poly cap, and it it moves for and aft a bit. And you get another poly cap in here to join to the waist section. Um, but yeah, and oh, look at that big ass gun. I mean, it's not that. Well, see, we got the little foil sticker on there. Doesn't look nearly as good as what was pictured. Oh, Bandai, you scammers! You're doing some extra... I banged the camera. Doing some extra work before uh, those pictures. You're painting them, probably. You're panel lining them, clearing them, whatever you're doing. Obviously, the manual's preview shots are going to look better than what you get just snapping it together, but just snapping it together, you'll get reasonable results. So, I'm going to take my tweezers and grip my teeth with lockjaw. Also, I mean, talk about lockjaw. Bud. Rise. Err. Remember the frogs. Okay, be back. Yeah, um, I'm watching the movie compilation of Mobile Suit Gundam. Uh, I found out after I ordered it from Amazon and it was delivered that it does not have an English dub. It is just subtitled. So trying to watch this and read the subtitles whilst assembling a model and reading the instructions... Well, I have no idea what anybody's saying, but I watch the original series, you know, all the episodes, and I get the gist of what's going on. It's really just background music at this point, but either way, one of the uh, most delightful parts, and um, we do have weapons, we have weapons built, including a hand. This gun comes with a hand. No. The hands are multi-piece. They attach onto the weapon. So, got our big sniper rifle there. There were a little wussy garbage Zaku machine gun. I mean, come on. It, it, it's really only good for, like, strafing villages and, you know, paper airplanes and stuff. But either way. Um, so, yeah. So, we get to put we get to put the bits on. Look at that. Polycaps. Everything just snaps. It wasn't a very satisfying snap. It was just a... Bleh. This guy has a cool little shoulder armor. And that guy just goes right in there. Okay. So we do have seam lines on these little snap-together kits. You know, there, there are seam lines. And you, you can you can put some extra thin uh, Tamiya cement in there and squeeze them together. And they kind of barf out some plastic. And then you could scrape it away with a razor blade and sand it down and... But you really kind of need to paint things if you're going to eliminate all seam lines. So here we go. We've got the chest, two arms, a head. And if we if we click this guy into its little polycap. Oh my god. Look at that freaking gun. That's nice. You know, for a high grade kit, which like I said is basically the entry level kit. There's usually very little... Or there's usually not excellent, let me say it, there's not excellent color separation on the kits, but this gun has all these little gray bits that snapped on, it has the stickers, 
Um, the chest is two different colors of plastic. You know, I mean, the arm joints, you know, I mean, these are nice little robot kits. For anyone who's not familiar, you know, like, he can he can really tuck it into his elbow, and then he can, he can, he can look at that, and he's like, yeah, I'm going to shoot you right between the eyes. Look at that fella. That's a big gun. I mean, compared to their their normal machine gun. Come on, get out of here. That with that rubbish. Yeah, pretty cool. So while while he's hanging out, he's just gonna sit there like that. And now we're building like legs and waists and feet and things like that. You know, if you see X2, it means build two feet. Quite often, at least on the high grade and even some of the, most of the mess or. Some, most, I don't know how many of the master grades. Most of the high grades I've built, the feet are always identical. Um, you know, they say you have two left feet, or is it two right feet? Well, either way, Gundams always have two left feet. They probably can't dance worth a shit. Um, or they have two right feet, and what are they then, ballerinas? I have no idea. So, yeah, we're going to just keep, keep, keep on keeping on with this. Um, we've got this page... And then that page... Oh, and then my favorite part. Oh, the backpack. Oh, and posing. Oh. All right. And there's no other stickers for this kit. We have finished all the stickers. There's no other stickers or decals besides what's included here. With a lot of other kits, you got uh, quite a few more stickers. So this is a delightfully sticker-free kit. Um, you know, Whatever. Look at how clean my cutting mat is. I cleaned it for the Gundam guys. The tank guys don't care if my my mat's clean, but I'm 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 possibly assuming the 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 Gunpla peeps may appreciate a clean cutting mat. Um, because tank people are always painting everything. Our our cutting mats are disgusting, guys. Listen, Gunpla guys, you've got it easy, okay? You always have a clean area. We are always painting everything when it comes to model tanks. I, we got paint everywhere. We're coughing up black lung when we get upstairs. Did I clean my airbrush the last time I used it? Oh, I did. Look at that. What a miracle. Um, so either way, I mean, we, and, you know, we could paint these kits. Uh, when I do a more expensive kit or a nicer, bigger, cooler kit, I'm, I'm still not going to paint them. I'm, I may paint one. I may get bored one day and want to do some what if model, but you know, um, you know, in tank land, we sometimes are double fisting. We've got, we've got two hook, you know, in order. We're, yeah, we're going crazy. But with, with a Gundam, I just dropped, I, I dropped a runner on the floor, also known to the rest of the world as a parts tree. Once again, oh, I'm not trying to trigger anyone. Sorry. Ooh, that's the backpack. I love big pieces of plastic and I cannot lie. Big backpacks get me Randy. I like I like big jet packs and I cannot lie. There, oh, that was a little better. All right, we'll be back. We'll have legs, waist, more things happening. BRB. Oh, hold on, let me pause the battle. Uh, yeah, uh, Amaru is uh, fighting with with Char, Char and 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 uh, oh, Garma. That little wussy girly boy. Anyone who watches the cartoons, I think you'll agree with me. He's a girly boy. He's 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 got a lot of anger though, <clears throat> and like kind of an ego, but he's self conscious and overcompensating. I think Garma drives a Corvette Z06, a yellow Corvette Z06. He hangs out with Guy Fieri on the weekends, and they exchange recipes for sushi. No, yeah, come on, okay. Very satisfying part here. So we got these little uh, polycap cups, and they go into the little. Eh. Oh, that was that was a satisfying click. That was that was what we call a. Oh, you felt that click, guys? Did you feel that click? I felt the click. I felt it for you. And we got these little. All the Gundam robots wear skirts, uh, kilts, uh, some kind of. There we go. We got those little guys. Oh. The most satisfying click of... Oh, wait, we're missing something. Oh! We need part E1. Right? E1? Yes. 
Loki one. So, you know, I mean, a little clippy clippy. Like a live build video. I'm not going to live stream this crap. No one wants to watch me do that. So we're gonna we're gonna put them in here. Yeah, there we go. And then we are going to. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh yes. Oh. Waste attachment. Hello. All right. So we're we're right we're right about there. Seems like something should go on this. Oh, his fist popped open. Okay. He's not meant to hold that. There's probably a thing. There's probably a thing for this. We'll figure it out. Um, but yeah, there we go. Uh, principal construction is... Aw, oh, shit, he forgot his backpack for school. Oh, uh, you're gonna get marked unprepared for class. Sorry about that. Alright. Well, we're gonna put him down. I like the asymmetry. One knee has a, like kickstand and this is for two meant for his kneeling foot and then like this is supposed to like that or something for like sniping yeah yeah it works after a fashion doesn't it all right well like you know the high grades are not the most articulated kits but the, they'll surprise you sometimes. There we go. So either way, let's get him there. He's looking pretty cool. And then uh, we're going to do the backpack. Oh, the little hosey thing. Nice. We get to hook the little hoses up. I'll be right back. <laughs> An airplane. Yeah, I'm not going to learn to speak Japanese anytime soon by reading the subtitles of Gundam. Um, and here's what we're left with, everybody. <clears throat> First of all, <laughs> we're literally left with, and, and this is just a funny thing, and this is any model kit. We're left with, let's feel the weight. Yeah, we're left with about the same weight and volume and plastic <clears throat> of garbage. Sorry, I hit the camera. Ah. Uh, we're left with the same weight and volume and plastic as we're left with. Uh, in the kit itself. And now he's in his sniper pose. He's on his kneeling thing. He looks cool. We got the little hose hooked up to the badass backpack. Again, good color separation there. You got some nice different colors going on. There's the head on. You see this at a distance, uh, you're probably not going to be in a good mood. And we're left with some extra little hands, as well as, you know, the hand for the little, little wussy machine gun, uh, rifle, whatever it is, as I call it, the Garma of weapons. Um, by the way, sorry for bad mouthing Garma, I'm, I'm watching, uh, the part one of three of the compilation movie, Garma just died, now I feel bad calling him a little wussy, overcompensating girly boy, he died, he was trying to be brave, but... I we, when it comes to Garma, it's just, it's it's more stupidity than bravery, to be honest. And of course, the ubiquitous leftover polycaps. You always have leftover polycaps. Well, almost always, or as far as I've been building these things, always. Um, and I right, keep them because I'm I'm a pack rat. <coughs> I'm a oh, it's not COVID. <coughs> I just choked on my own burp. It happens to the best of us. And also me. Uh, yeah. It's a nice little kit. This is Zaku 1. There's no clear part over there, which is abnormally. There's usually some clear plastic over the, uh, the mono eye. Yeah, mono. He's a cyclops. Yeah. Oh. That's a cool little kit. And these are nice because you can build this. Now, I built this with ADHD and the distraction of trying to watch and occasionally read subtitles to hope what's going on, uh, you know, in a couple hours. It's it's a nice, fun, little, lighthearted build. Now, what we do, what, what I would, sorry, what I do with these is I'll take this guy, I'll take his weapons off, I'll mount them on these, 
Um, and I'll hit him with the flat clear. I'll hit him with... Uh, I'll hit him with this. Well, not necessarily this, but this is UV Cut, Mr. Super Clear, and this is a... Uh, where does it say flat? But this is a flat clear coat. Um, me, uh, flat. There it is. Flat. I knew. I mean, it was. I know it's flat, but I was. I forget. You know, whatever. It's not the Budweiser guys. That stuff's like drinking, like you know, iced tea. I put it on narrow. You know, zoom in a little. Look at that. Look at that guy. He's a pretty badass little robot. You know, I mean, yeah, he's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, that's that's that. Uh -huh. Hey, first Gundam video in the books on YouTube. Ah, and whatever. I don't know. Either way, I had a Saturday myself. I finished my previous model, uh, my JS2 tank. Check that video out, Gundam guys. Because if you think you aren't spending enough on your models, holy tamole, you get yourself a Tamiya full option tank, and one of these fancy Japanese, well not fancy, but one of these Japanese tam Tamiya radios, and, and then you buy all the paint, and the glues, and the things, and the, you know, and then you're getting, you know, fancy schmancy, you know, Tamiya adjustable double action airbrushes, and you tell me Gundam is still too expensive. Yes, indeed. Well, the thing with Gundam is you guys have a catalog of about five... Let me just adjust here. Five million model kits. It is hilarious um, how bad... Now, see, the thing is, when I was younger... I wasn't young. I was younger. Um... Gundam Wing was released on uh, Toonami Cartoon Network, but I watched it at night on Toonami. And uh, and conversely, they had all, you know, uh, action figures at Toys R Us, which I bought, like, all of them. And they had model kits at Toys R Us, which I bought, like, well, literally all of them. Um, you know, I also collected Hot Wheels cars. So, I mean, come on, you know how OCD every... Yeah, I have to have every one... And every variation, and every ah, uh, yeah, uh, they. I think the the model kits released for the U.S. market for Gundam Wing were basically high grade kits. There was no such thing as a master grade or a perfect grade. I don't even think the ones that were released in the states, even though they were probably equivalent to high grade, I don't think they were even marked high grade. I, I'm surprised they were marked Bandai, um, but that, they were they were definitely I'm sure marked Bandai. I liquidated that entire collection to a dealer when we moved down to New Jersey to the lovely country of America, a.k.a. anywhere but New Jersey, New York, Connecticut, or California, or a couple other states. But we moved, yeah, Georgia. So now I've got a pile of these things. I mean, during 2020, during, during the lockdown, I was like, you know what, um... I, uh, I I have dogs with emotional separation issues. I have a wife that apparently developed uh, separation issues if I went to the basement for too long. So I had to be able to build something in a couple hours. You know, not be gone for the entire weekend in the basement working on a 1 16th scale tank. And this is 1 144th scale. So the real thing is 144 freaking times bigger than this. Oh my god, one of the next videos, maybe we'll do a Master Grade, that's 1 100th scale. Again, my RC tanks are 1 16th scale, and they're like, yay big. And then they have the Perfect Grade, which are 1 60th scale. Those are about a foot tall. So the real robot is like six stories-ish tall, you know, converting for standard metric or vice versa. You know, and then there's some mega scale, 148 scale, and then there's some like freakishly big ones that are like thousands of dollars that only, you know, uh, certain YouTubers with a lot of cleavage somehow can get their hands. I don't know how they got it. I'd love one. I wanted one, and then I was like, oh, how much, how much is that big, you know, five foot tall gun? 
Oh no, I'm not getting it. Yeah, I was. That, that robot costs more than my my wife's last used car, like quite literally. And we didn't buy our crappy used car. I mean, it was an old used car, but it's a good used car. But, but yeah, I'm not allowed. I don't think I'm allowed to buy any robot models. Um, that cost more than an operable leather interiored heated seat automatic wiper blade self-leveling HID headlight all-wheel drive V6 used luxury form of transportation if a toy costs more than that I yeah I might not might not have a wife anymore or dogs she she'd take the dogs or a home she'd probably take the house I'd have a home but it wouldn't be like Nice enough to have an area to... Yeah, there we go. Okay, so yeah, I'm not buying the giant Gundam uh, robot model. Um, I honestly love this. Now, there's there's two sides to Gundam. There's many, many, many sides to Gundam. But generally speaking, the most basic... And I, guys, don't nitpick me, Gundam people. The most basic is the Earth Federation versus the Zeons. And this is a Zeon... Okay, and its name is a Zaku, and it starts with Z, and it sounds like Sesame Street came up with the names. But I like the Zaku. And, guys, just so you know, Zigzion. I mean, I love me a Gundam. I love all variations of the OG Gundams, AFMS Team, and Mobile Suit, and all that good stuff. Even a little Zeta. And then, uh, other than that, totally love Zigzion. They got cool stuff. They got the cool suits. They look like kind of stormtrooper-y, you know? Um, you know, but, but I love the grunts. I love the grunt suit, the, the gen pop of the military. Like, most of the kits I buy are not the hero kits. You know, the hero robots. They're they're just the, the mass production, just get annihilated by the thousands in every battle type of mobile suits and other, other accoutrements. These are my favorite. Like, I think like 90% of all the stuff, uh, kits that I have in my backlog for Gundam are, 90% of them are, are basically grunt suits or ace versions of grunt suits or specialized versions of grunt suits. For the most part, it's going to be grunt suits. If you're into grunt suits, you're going to, yeah, this is your place. Um, if you're into all the, you know, uh, the double O hero suits or the Seed Hero Suits, or the Double Z. I, listen, I, I do have a Hayaku Shiki I'm waiting about. I have a few Hero Suits. Yeah, I do have a few of the Ace and, you know, the stars of the show, just, but not the majority of them. Most of my stuff is, is Grunt Suits. I have a lot that I've already built, mostly high-grade, these little guys, a few master grade I've built so far. None of them have gotten the full treatment of all the stickers and the decals and the things and the clear coats and all that. Oh, there's another grade I didn't mention. The most maniacal of all grades. Okay? So this is a high grade. One 144th scale. Decent details. Not fantastic, but decent. Well, then they have master grade. You know, they're much bigger. More details. More articulation. More, more, more. A lot more details, bigger parts, easier to put the not easier to put together, but you know. Uh, and then they got perfect grade. Perfect grade has a bajillion parts. You got more parts than you got excuses for why you haven't finished building it yet. Um. So then Bandai thought, why don't we make a perfect grade the size of a high grade? You getting the math so far, right, guys? It's five million little parts. Yeah, crammed into this package. I built one. I'm probably never building another one ever again. They look great. But A, the one I built, uh, Shars Zaku 2, uh, it's a bit of a hand grenade. Um, and I I swear, I, it, was, it was demoralizing. And I've built very complex 16th scale tanks. I don't work in tiny, tiny scale very well. So this is a this is about as small as I could handle uh, for the level of detail involved. Um, but either way, guys, shoot you later! Pa, 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 pa. No, we won't. There is no threats of violence on this channel. We are simply saying the model robot is 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 looking at you. I'm looking at you, kid. 
Um, yeah, that's enough of that. All right, goodbye. I, I, I'm probably the worst Gundam channel on YouTube now. First, I was the most idiotic model tank channel. Ah. <laughs> I'm going to get a whole new group of people berating me for talking too much. It's going to be awesome. Everyone who's always, you know, criticized me in the past, you're going to be like, amateurs, you don't know how to insult Ian yet. You need to practice. But either way, um, it is beer o'clock, and we're going to make some fake fried rice. Later, guys.